Are you tired of lag and high ping ruining your Fortnite experience? In today's video, I'll show you the exact steps I took to get zero ping and no delay in Chapter 7. From optimizing your internet connection to reducing keyboard input lag, these tweaks will make your game smoother than ever. So let's jump right into the video. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your internet connection more stable, using Device Manager. To get the lowest ping possible in Fortnite, first click on the Windows search bar next to the Start button and type Device Manager, then click on it to open it. Inside Device Manager, look for Network Adapters and click on the small arrow next to it to see all the devices that connect your PC to the internet. If you are using a wired connection, Ethernet, it might say something like Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. If you are using Wi-Fi, it might say something like Intel R Wireless AC or similar. Now right-click on your active network adapter, the one you are using to connect to the internet, and select Update Driver. Then click Search Automatically for Drivers so Windows can find the latest version for you. If Windows says that your driver is already up to date, that's great. It means you're good to go for this part. Next, right-click on the same network adapter again and click Properties. Go to the Power Management tab and uncheck all the boxes to stop Windows from turning off your network adapter to save power. This is important because if Windows turns off the network adapter, you might get random disconnections or your ping could spike during your Fortnite match. After that, go to the Advanced tab and look for Speed and Duplex. Set it to 1.0 gigabits per second full duplex. This makes your connection as fast as possible. If your internet stops working after this, don't panic. Just go back and set it back to auto negotiation and it will be fine again. These tweaks will help your internet stay more stable and Fortnite will be able to send and receive data faster, helping you get closer to that zero ping experience in the game. Step two, enable the ultimate power plan for maximum performance. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Let's make sure your PC is running at full power. By default, Windows uses a balanced power plan, which saves energy but slows down your CPU. And that's not good for gaming. First, go to the Windows search bar and type power plan, then click change power plan. If your plan is set to balanced, change it to high performance. But to get the best results, let's turn on ultimate performance mode, which unlocks your CPU's full speed. To enable it, go to your FPS boost pack folder and run the ultimate performance command as administrator. A small window will pop up saying that ultimate performance mode is now available. Then go back to your power options and select ultimate performance. This will stop your CPU from slowing down and keep it running at its highest speed. Step three, update your network drivers using Snappy Driver Installer. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Outdated network drivers are one of the main reasons people get bad ping, lag spikes, or packet loss during Fortnite matches. To fix this, we will use a free tool called Snappy Driver Installer that automatically finds and updates your network drivers. Download Snappy Driver Installer from a trusted website. Right-click on the SDI underscore Autobat file and choose Run Run as Administrator to allow the program to update your drivers. Once the program opens, click Download Indexes Only. This will quickly download a list of the latest drivers that match your system without downloading unnecessary files. While the program is downloading, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager. Click on the Performance tab and find the Network section. Here you can see the exact name of your network adapter. Write down the name or remember it. Now go back to Snappy Driver Installer and search for your network adapter. When you find it, check the box next to it and click Install at the top left corner of the window. Wait until the installation is done, and then restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, open Snappy Driver Installer again to make sure your network adapter no longer appears in the update list. If it doesn't, that means your driver is fully updated and your connection will be faster and more reliable. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the End tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let GearUp automatically select the best option. 
I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step 4. Improve internet speed with TCP Optimizer. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we're going to make your internet connection even faster and more efficient with a free program called TCP Optimizer. Download TCP Optimizer v4 from a trusted site. Right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator so it can make changes to your system. When the program opens, make sure the network adapter selected at the top is the same one you found in Device Manager and Task Manager. This ensures you are optimizing the correct connection. Next, switch the mode at the bottom to Custom to manually adjust the settings. Drag the connection speed slider all the way to the right to set it to the highest possible value for better performance. Set TCP window auto-tuning to normal. Set window scaling to disabled. Set TTL value to 64. Set ECN capability to enable. Uncheck checksum offload, TCP chimney offload, and large send offload. Check TCP timestamps to help with packet timing and stability. Then go to the advanced settings tab and adjust the following. Set Internet Explorer optimization to 10 connections per server. Set host resolution priority to 4, 5, 6, 7. Set RTO max to 2000 and RTO min to 300. Set network throttling index to FFF to stop Windows from throttling your network speed. Set system responsiveness to gaming, 0%, which tells Windows to focus on Fortnite over background tasks. Finally, enable the network memory allocation under gaming tweaks and set memory size to optimize. 3. Click Apply Changes at the bottom. When TCP Optimizer asks if you want to back up your old settings, click Yes. Now restart your PC so these changes can take effect. After restarting, your system will handle Fortnite's network traffic more efficiently. Step 5. Reduce keyboard input lag. Using Filter Keys Setter, you can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Even if your ping is low and your internet is stable, your gameplay can still feel slow or delayed if there's keyboard input lag. To fix this, we'll use a lightweight tool called Filter Keys Setter to make your keyboard respond instantly. Download and open Filter Keys Setter. Set Ignore under to 0 milliseconds. This ensures that every key press is registered immediately with no delay. Set Repeat Delay to 130 milliseconds to avoid double inputs. Set Repeat Rate to 10 milliseconds for smoother movement when holding down a key. Make sure all options on the right side are turned on, then click OK to save the changes. This simple change will make your controls feel much faster and more responsive in Fortnite. Step 6. Speed up windows. Startup by disabling extra apps. Extra background apps can use up your internet and slow down your PC in Fortnite. Press Control, plus Shift, plus Escape to open Task Manager and click on the Startup tab. Here you'll see a list of programs that start automatically when your PC turns on. Look for apps you don't need running all the time like Spotify, Discord Auto Launch, or Update Checkers. Right-click on each one and select Disable. This will free up CPU, RAM, and internet bandwidth, which will make Fortnite run smoother and your PC will boot faster. After completing all these steps, restart your PC so every setting can apply properly. Then open Fortnite and jump into a match. You should notice a big improvement. Your ping will be lower, your builds and edits will feel faster, and your overall gameplay will be much smoother.